Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where of course we are jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart going over the next support that we have to the downside which honestly this one is absolutely crucial. Uh, we'll be covering that support in this video and I will obviously cover this last move to the upside just so you can get the educational side of things, understand what went on, why we rejected where we did and where we are coming down to next. So if that sounds good, absolutely smash that like button as hard as you can and let's get into what we love the technical analysis so i mean yesterday obviously we were talking about the support that we were bouncing off of in my opinion obviously it wasn't a massive support level but obviously we could see the bounce was pretty big in the end uh, and what were we bouncing off of obviously it was that daily naked point of control and i have to shout him out because the, the, the modest mike is too modest for himself because he absolutely did nail it obviously two days ago while we were trading at about fifty thousand dollars he gave the level to the downside of forty seven thousand one hundred and fifty being that naked point of control as as soon as it hit yesterday, obviously 11 a.m. UK time, he did say to the team he has taken the long trade and he was obviously looking up for 48,300 and then, then go from there, of course. Well, I mean, <laughs> you, you did, to be honest, yesterday have Mike Confluence of taking the long and also Younes. Younes with his lovely Elliott Wave counts, obviously the one, two, three, four, five to the downside, as we all know, we've made three up and obviously now looking for five back down for the A, B, C. But both of them, to be fair, were both looking for the rise of the intraday uh, to give us that move back to the upside. And obviously that is what happened. As we can see here, we put in our move to the downside. We have got our, you know, we did get our retracement and then a bam, straight back down. So yeah, shout out to Mike, shout out to Younes, who did correctly identify and long the 7150. Uh, and now I will cover here where we rejected from, because I think this is, um, you know, this is quite important to cover here. And obviously, well, it's, it's kind of obvious what we rejected from. It obviously was the CC. Uh, so we, we rejected from the CC Fibonacci retracement. And this is obviously the one taken from the overall high to the low at the time. Obviously, that top of the CC is coming in at $49,395. Just so you can visualize what that looked like, we pulled a Fib, obviously, just so you can see it. It's from the absolute high to the low, obviously, that we had yesterday. And as we can see, this did come up into the CC and it did reject. And I will be honest with you here. This was for me, this for me, when it was coming up to the CC and I was making it very, you know, I was pretty adamant. I am waiting to see how it progresses here. I was not aggressive on the short here because I felt as if we could go through that CC level. And this is what I mean by trading the reaction, trading, you know, what's actually happening within this. Okay. Are we rejecting from it? Are we going to push through, you know, and, and basically just trading not what you want, but actually trading what is happening. So I did not short this first touch of the CC and I did not short the second touch of the CC high. Why? Because there was no rejection, obviously, at that top touch. The way that I personally approached this, obviously, we were coming into eagle time at the top of this, which does add to a bit of a bearish confluence. Obviously, we put in our high at about 1.30, um, well, on the 1.30 candle. And then obviously we got our rejection. And for me, there was this was the confluence that we had for, okay, you know, now, now obviously we do have to take this short position. It was rejecting from the CC, not shorting the top of it, but shorting after we had rejected, because then it had actually shown me we have actually rejected from the top of the CC. We have then lost that TPO point of control and we have actually changed market structure. And not only that, we also then had a bearish CCV setup. So although I was cautiously uh, approaching that short position, upon seeing a absolutely clear as day rejection with the CCV setup in play as well, you know, you have to trade the charts. Again, I will stress always, it's not what we want. It's not what we say. We have to trade what is actually happening. And for me to not short that would be, I would, would simply not be trading the CCV setup that was given to me after rejecting really clearly from the top of the CC and then losing the TPA point of control. You, know, you just have to react to what's happening. Also, you lost this mini range point of control. So I will show you this really quickly. Also, you lost the mini range point of control. So for me, like going to wanting to go back to sleep, it's enough to, you know, take the short position, have a stop above the invalidation and 
obviously we can say pretty safely it's obviously worked out very well in the end but um yeah that rejection really simply all came from that cc you know in my opinion and obviously, yeah, so we have made our way back down now. So hopefully that's talked you through why we got this rise yesterday. And obviously, shout out to Mike, shout out to Younes for that, because they nailed that one. But kind of like Younes was imagining, we put in five, you then look for the retracement up for another wave back down. So if we envision this with the Elliott waves, you kind of are looking for this almost with your A, putting your A wave, putting your B, and then you are looking down for the C. And I'm going to cover where I personally believe we can look for this C. Uh, before I get into where this C wave will be, I just want to really quickly remind you, and that is that we obviously do have the World Series of Trading going on right now. There is one day no there's one and a half days left to join the competition so if you haven't already go over i'll leave the i'll leave the links in the description or you can just come over to the discord all free join the team and uh yeah currently ranked first of the english team we need to beat Calvin moon and uh mm crypto come on we can do this join the team starts in one and a half days so yeah just a quick reminder of that before we get back into the charts here. So yeah, World Series of Trading, one and a half days, join the team and let's absolutely crush that. So yeah, coming back, where are we looking for this C wave? Well, in my opinion, it would make sense to come back down to our range point of control. So this is the point of control of this whole range. So we could say that a sensible level of support okay would obviously be to come down to around here and then we will obviously have put in our a b you know we'd have a we'd have a really strong abc uh type move obviously this could be a one two three it's a little bit too early to tell that's why we'd, we would have to base the reaction off of you know this this little zone here we'd we obviously would have to base the reaction off of here are we finding great support just like we did at the bottom of the a wave yesterday if you see here uh, obviously, Eunice has his little box here, daily naked point of control on the 1618 on the 0.5. You have to base the reaction. Obviously, the reaction here was in the end pretty strong. So we would have to base the reaction off of here, off the point of control. Like, are we actually finding support here or are we rejecting? Just like we had to see at the CC last night. Are we actually rejecting from this CC, which obviously was the case, or were we getting through it and flipping it into support, which obviously didn't happen? So the same here. We cannot really predict what's going to happen here. If we hit it, of course, there's always the possibility that we just go bam straight up here. Of course, we have to acknowledge we're training a game of probabilities. Um, so we would have to base the reaction off of here. So you can see I, I have my alert set ready and waiting. So what will happen is as we approach this level, as if we hit this level, I will be see seeing, basically I'll come over to the order flow software and basically look for, are we seeing a sign of weakness? Usually if we see a sign of weakness and we are expecting just continuation to the downside, then obviously there's, there's no long to be taken. But should we see nice absorption coming into this level, a lower term time frame reaction, then of course we can get into those original scope long positions with a potential of a, of a of a larger trade but i think just like the reaction here it's an it's an for me anyway if you take it along here it's an original scope long which obviously ends into a pretty de decent day trade but i would still envision you take your first take profit fairly quickly um <laughs> that's just just my opinion though um so yeah that, that's the way that i would really be approaching this today we have um yeah we obviously had that clear support yesterday clear resistance off the cc i think we have a we have the most important support coming in at around you know this for the people that can't see this so it's about forty five thousand seven hundred. but you can look at this as a little bit of a box here uh so that's obviously your clear you know that's your clear as day support where we're bouncing off of right now uh, this isn't really massive support level in my opinion of course we're bouncing off of it but this isn't this isn't a trade that i would take um so yeah, I, I'm happy to miss the long if we just bounce up from here. I'm really, not really that bothered. Uh, personally, I am actually trading a lot altcoins quite a lot recently. So I was actually, you know, absolutely trading altcoins a lot yesterday. I'm still trading my altcoins today. So uh, should I miss the Bitcoin long? Hey, I miss it. I'm not that bothered. I would prefer to trade only the highest probabilities. And if that misses missing a trade, then it means missing a trade. And if you understand that trading is about the consistency in the long term, we're not after making a million dollars in a night. We're after, you know, the long term consistency, making that day and day on day on day on day. And you don't do that by taking, you know, poor trades. You have to wait sometimes for the confirmation, the wait for the reaction, you know, get in and, you know, you're changing from a gambling type of trade. You know, you're talking 80, 90 percent probability so yeah that, that's what i would go on of course if you want to see more victor actually is doing a live stream right now as we're speaking um so yeah there's obviously we're we're pumping out the content so there is a live stream from victor going on right now obviously inside of the chart champions group obviously if you want the updates in the day from people such as you know mike etc then they are doing their updates obviously i'm doing my updates of when i 
foresee uh, potential reactions. You've got another live stream today from Trading Assistant coming up. Yeah, I mean, there's so much content that you can use and learn from. Uh, so yeah, that's all obviously at chartchampions.com. If you want to learn about the order flow, all of that, we've got the education and then obviously the updates in the day. It's all on the website. Uh, of course, I have to say no financial advice in this video. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm not a financial advisor. So obviously, this this opinion, this video is just my opinions on how my outlook is on the market. So hope you have enjoyed this video. Nevertheless, thank you ever so much. And remember to absolutely, as always, smash the like. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day. That's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.